Ladies and gentlemen, how is everybody doing today? Guys, I'm going to have to, it fi this knife finally, finally arrived. I think we're going, I was going on over, over three weeks waiting for this knife to come in the mail every day. And what it has done to my innards will blow your ever-loving mind. Being a knife guy, being a knife enthusiast, being, all right, you ready for this? A knife junkie. Now, I promise you, I test you. Go to the mailbox for three solid straight weeks anticipating one of your grail knives coming through the mail. Not only a knife, a normal knife, every day running a meal, a meal uh, $30 Civivi. Or, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned brands. I apologize. Um... This is a grail knife, okay? And like I said, it tore the insides of me apart, guys. Now, after saying all that blue blah blue blue blah, <laughs> man, I cracked myself up over here, I tell you. Um, guys, you are looking at a Shat and Morgan. Alright? This is like a, a elephant toe, but it's the sunfish. Dweller. I repeat, dweller. It is just a spectacular, spectacular piece of eye candy. Just to begin with. This is done in, um, you are going to have to really bear with me on this one. Because I'm all piped up over here. Um, this one's done in whiskey bone. This one is done in whiskey bone. Now, look at the blade. Look at everything. I just got back not that long ago. I couldn't even do, look at the knife properly. All right, let's put it down. Because of all days, I have uh, the ladder out in my foyer. Okay, yeah, foyer. Um, and it's like 30 foot in the air. And there's one big gigantic window that sits in my foyer area, if you can follow me. And the window was just obliterated with uh, bug shit, bug poop, um, then bugs, um, and which we call it, and um, getting in your house, them stink bugs. And uh, so, yeah. Um, so that was my phone that was going off. Anything else to disrupt me? But this is in Whiskey Bone. This is the Sunfish Sunfish Dweller. It is a brand new piece of cutlery. I did not clean this thing yet at all. It's filth though. I mean, guys, I'm not saying nothing. I don't really care, but I mean, it's filthy. Once I get inside this channel, it's going to come up filth. I didn't sharpen it. Uh, well, it's sharp. I didn't put my touch on it. I didn't clean everything up. This is just the first impressions, as uh, maybe we'd say. Look at that shield, will you? It's a uh, one of six hundred. If we can, if I can show you that, it's a one of six hundred. Okay. Um, guys, it's just a spectacular piece. This was one of my um, uh, Grail knives. Everybody's got their Grail knives and all that. This is one of my grails, guys. Sure. Sure it is. Come on, man. Yeah, I like my flippers, man. Don't monkey with my flippers. I mean, if you want me to break out my modern flippers, don't make me do it. Um, no, nah, I'm only kidding, guys. You know that. I'm just playing. You know, this is South Jersey Pete. I gotta play. Um, but that's the dweller. I just wanted to give you guys a quick first impressions. I gotta get back to cleaning that big gigantic window in the foyer. I should have did a video on that. Holy smokes. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. And it's it's taken me half the day to do one window. I kid you not. Would I kid you like that? <laughs> and you know what I heard also? 
She's talking about getting another chandelier in there. She's like, I'm going to buy another chandelier. Do you think you could put it up? I'm like, oh, oh, no. No. I could. No. It's too heavy. No. You're going to have to have a professional electrical company come in there with two guys. I don't even have an A-frame to go up that high. You need an A-frame in there. Not something you could toss up against a wall. You got to set that up with an A-frame. No, I'm not doing that. No. Ladies and gentlemen, no. Um, all right, guys, quickly. First impressions. Let me know what you think of this sunfish dweller. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I've been waiting for weeks, okay? Probably three weeks. Let's look at the... Oh, man, hold on, guys. Oh, ah. um, you know me, scaredy Pete now. Uh, um, yeah, look at the fit and finish. Look at this fit and finish, will you? Oh, my God. And the bone. When you hold this uh, handle, it's like a velvet. It's velvety. It actually feels velvety. Um, it is just a spectacular piece of cutlery. Can you believe this? Um, oh, man, it's got a nice snap on her. Here's the shot of the day. Um, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you really, really, what you think about this piece. I got to get back to that window. Um, I just love it. I just love it. I love my traditionals, and um, this piece ought to really, really, really increase in value over the years. Um, that's what I'm anticipating. That is exactly what I'm anticipating to happen. I'm thinking roughly uh, probably another 10 years. You're probably going to have to put in for it to be worth any kind of money. But it's going to jump at least double. I think it would triple within 10 years what I paid. Um, it's, it's $165 a knife. It's not all that much, but it is that much. But I'm saying I think it's going to triple. Um that's me talking, I think, if not higher. I really do. Here's the box. Uh, yeah, she came brand new. Um, she came brand new in box. Um, I love these boxes, these shat boxes. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Um, I'm here. Uh... Please comment. I mean, it, after all, it's been uh, over three weeks I've been talking about this knife coming every day in the mail. All right, guys. Yo, stick with me. Uh, be careful out there. Um, for the time being, keep on masking up. And uh, we're going to get through this. We're almost there. All right, guys. Stick with me. Drop me a little, little comment. And uh, let's keep on going with this. We're knife people. That's what we are. We're knife people. This is what we do. All right, guys. Catch us in a little bit. Take her easy.